Hi there guys, how's it going? Just wanted to give you a little bit of information on a scrap mechanic update that has kind of gone under my radar, so I don't know if it's gone under your radar as well. It's nothing major yet again. It's just a few little tweaks and fixes here and there, and I'll just read it out to you because it is short. Fix an issue that could cause a character to arrive in the warehouse before the interior was loaded when using the elevator. That has been fixed. Modded bearings, springs, pistons from mods that are not loaded will now load a standard bearing or standard suspension. So basically, if you've built a vehicle that has a modded bearings or springs, and when they do the updates, that mod pack won't necessarily be working. When you load that vehicle in, you will now have those items replaced by Scrap Mechanic Originals. Fix the bug that causes glowworms to be replaced as a block. If selecting a spud gun in the hotbar while swimming, very large creations built on the ground will not become loose when the ground they're attached to is unloaded. This hopefully is a saviour because I have had so many bases that have just detached from the ground just randomly. I mean, I thought I was in the area so the ground would be loaded, but hopefully this might be a fix. And if it is, it's a very, very welcome fix and probably the most welcome one that I have seen for a while. They fixed a well tool rendering issue that could occur in some cases. They've had a Russian font fix. Fix an issue that causes the icons for lift creations exports to be offset. Fix an issue with the reward item rendering in the dress box and minor GUI fixes. Most noticeable that you might see is they've now added this little tweak but it basically the crosshair will now light up when you point at an object that can be interacted or picked up with. The only problem here is in the cases I found that's pretty much everything. I say everything I mean it doesn't obviously it doesn't include the main buildings that are actually in the map but it doesn't include trees and rocks I don't think but in terms of Everything else, literally every block, every engine, everything, everything that you'll ever really be looking at for a long period of time will change the colour of the crosshair. Is it needed? I don't know. This might help us in future updates where we could be looking for something and it'll be able to show us just because the crosshair will change colour. Is it a noticeable colour? Honestly, I did notice it when I first dropped in the game and didn't realise this update had happened. Does it make sense? I'm not sure. It kind of changes an orange colour. I haven't seen any options that can change it. In all fairness, I haven't actually even looked. But uh, it, it's subtle enough. But I don't think it was necessarily needed. But there you go. However, as you can see, when I look at the creation, it doesn't matter where I look at this creation, the crosshair will turn orange because everything is able to be picked up. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, just wanted to drop a little update that I had missed and hopefully... You guys hadn't, but uh, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in a bit. Bye for now. Bye, guys.